So we are here in the Faux Boiserie Lobby, 9 Rue Logier in Paris, in a great room inspired by the great French architect Claude Nicolas Ledoux. Uh, we are in the center of the 17th arrondissement, a couple of blocks of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. This place had been built in 1875 by the founder of the company, uh, Mr. Charles Fournier. From the beginning, the house was specialized in wood paneling producing. We have here almost 20,000 square foot of showroom and workshop. Here we have a huge concentration of around 300 historical room from the best and the most important architect and interior designer from the end of the 17th century to the 1970s, which is a quite a big, a big ranch. So we collect those and we also have some thousands of fragment, historical fragment of decor. And those are great source of inspiration for interior designer and architect. One of my favorite architects is Claude Nicolas Ledoux. Here you have the unique room called the Four Continents that he made at the early stage of his career when he just left the School of Architecture. So here you have this beautiful panel with the four continents. We have the America with the alligators. There is a beautiful structure. What I love with Ledoux is mixing refined details like the floor, the architecture of the moldings, and sometimes some very strong ornaments like the putti here. They always have a great idea of mixing details. Ledoux is really a unique architect. He was able to invent some new direction. That's why I love with him. Now we have the panel with Europe, with the beautiful horse, with the helmet, with the sword on the top, and the, still the same structure with the booty and vegetables, uh, garlands of flowers and the uh, great ornaments. On this one, you have Orient, camel, and uh, with some kind of a Turkish ornament. I also love the eagle, which is almost a full-scale proportion, which is quite rare with this kind of ornament on the wood paneling. The eagle is really strong and powerful. It's very important also to see the details on the cornish. The cornish is having a very crispy effect. The perspective effect of this ornament is really important. There is sometimes ornament could create a music to the room. So Henry, thank you for coming today. As a great collaborator, we have made many great projects all around the world together in Asia, in Paris, in America. So I would like to discuss with you regarding this great room and uh, what do you like in that uh, great classical uh, room? Okay. Well, th thank you for having me. Uh, I love this room. I find it uh, you know, very beautiful, very French, um, and I like certain details very much about it. I love the French panel moldings where they step up rather than bevel, as in a Georgian room would. The wainscoting is a very typical from French wood paneling production. Very, very simple. Louis says this is a Louis... The 16th room, it's the most classical of French periods. As, and uh, what's interesting is how there's a French accent to the room rather than an English accent or an, an Italian accent. And that's exemplified in the, in, in, the, in the wainscoting, in the very delicate raised detail, in the symbolism, um, even in this fantastic piece of hardware, which... It works for the way that you it works so well. But I especially like the the fluting the fluting on the column with the square top and bottom culmination and the simple base, which is almost more like a Tuscan base, a Tuscan order, and the beautiful French expression of all the all of the moldings. It I like the the white is also the perfect white. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think the white is the original colors. Um, there's another Ledoux room at the Getty Museum in Los Angeles, which also uses mirrors, but it uses them in a different way yeah. than, than this. Uh, the, 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 the Austin room. And this room was, was here 
hundred years ago. And uh, after it went in the German collection on the gate, he bought it uh, many years ago. But uh, already hundred years ago, we are collecting Ludu rooms. Tell us about the um, how you made this room fit here. Uh, we have to deal with the space, and that that room is not square, so it was not easy. So we had to adjust. Some of the faces have not the same amount of panel than the other one, but you don't realize that. And that's where we are good at is we the, the keyboard in our world is proportional. So we have to respect some 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 spatial composition with the panel. So uh but it was kind of easy. We wanted to have some mirror to reflect the, the view from, from the street and to give a more grand effect. So I think the idea to have these two big mirror facing each other was quite an evidence. And after we had only space for two panels on each side of the mirror and the pilaster were here to give more an architectural structure, which was quite fine. And I love this, uh, the, I love architecture. Uh, as, as a wood paneling designer, I, I need to love, uh, understand arch classic architecture and it's part of my life and I love it. And we, I love pilasters and columns and uh, I decided to put those and uh, I think they are quite efficient. Yeah, they, they, they really work very, very well. We can go now into the production workshop. I can introduce you with the people who work with me and uh, you can part of the process of the finishing or uh, the painting or the gilding. are able to achieve this level of quality of reproduction is because we own the original room. So we have installed the original panel at Kugel Gallery uh, in the left bank of Paris, close to the Place de la Concorde. So please come with me, we're going to visit them now. So we are here at the one of the most extraordinary antique dealer gallery in the world, the Kugel Gallery. Uh, thank you for hosting us. So maybe we can describe a little bit where we are on the... Well, we're, this is the gallery that my brother and I are running since a long time. We have privilege to be able to put this boiserie up. We're very happy to be able to have this room as a showcase for this amazing ensemble of uh, furniture in uh, Japanese lacquer, which is uh, the most beautiful lacquer that has ever been made. This great combination between the, the structure, the architecture of this neoclassical wood paneling, which is dated around um, 1780. So there is some pure line, but there is some fantastic details on the ornamentation. There is uh, plenty of beautiful flowers, guillemots, also animals, architecture. And you can find there is kind of a dialogue in between this kind of furniture, which is one of the best pieces made for the king. And this room, they match very well together because this is a black and gold and the wall are with just one color. And the French furniture is never too big, never too large, never too high. Every piece of furniture that you can put in this boiserie, a French piece of furniture, will automatically fit. Yes, and the fire's place is, is very nice. It's born with the wood paneling, which is quite rare. We find some old picture of the early 20th century of that room. You can see somehow the same details of the columns on the legs of uh, this wonderful console. You can see cranes on the black lacquer in echo of the animals on the boiserie. Love this kind of dialogue. You can have a Monet, a Picasso, but maybe even a Basquiat or a Cy Trombley here. With this kind of modern, I know it's 18th century, but somehow it's very modern, and the combination of, of both could be amazing. That's where most of our clients like to go. It was a pleasure to share with you this passion 
for this great room by Claude Nicolas Ledoux. I invite you to visit us in Paris and discover other rooms like this room by Percier Fontaine with the iconic colors and also a room inspired by Ruhlmann with the modern materials we can reuse in fantastic new decor. Au revoir. Bye-bye. <laughs>